All right, second through fourth graders, let's get started. So in your directions, some of the materials I said you were going to need are a ruler, a pencil, and a piece of copy paper. You can see this one is already folded, so let's go over this just quickly. We're gonna fold it in half like a hamburger bun. Okay, I've already got my crease. Don't have to press super hard. Okay, we just want a little bit there. And I'm gonna put it in my clipboard because I have these grooves in my desk that I, I don't want my pencil to get stuck in. So there we go. And I can kind of flatten that out a little bit, that crease. I don't need it quite so creased. Okay, so here's the center of my paper. That's important for later. Okay, what I'm going to do is come down with my fingers. I'm going to measure out about two fingers. Okay, for you it's probably going to be three because your fingers are probably a little bit um, thinner than mine. Okay, so I'm going to use two fingers. I'm going to find the edge of my paper and on my crease, okay, two fingers down, I'm going to make a little dot right about there. For you, again, it's going to be about three fingers, okay? And you know what, actually, scratch that. I'm going to do three fingers. You're going to do four fingers, okay? So I'm doing three. That wasn't quite as far down as I wanted it to be. And I'm, and I'm making my dot right on my crease, okay? Just like that. See my dot there? Right on my crease. That is my vanishing point. We talked about the vanishing point in the lesson plan and how all your, your um, parallel lines are going to, or your, I'm sorry, your diagonal lines are going to come to this point. Okay, and that's what's going to create your rows of vegetables. But first, first things first, we have to draw a horizon line. And the way we're going to do this, I'm going to have to take my paper out of my clipboard a little bit to demonstrate this. We're going to take the edge of our ruler right here and line it up with the edge of our paper right here. And that's going to help us get a nice straight line through our vanishing point. Okay, so let me come up here. I'm going to scoot my paper back just a little bit. Okay, but you can see that's lined up with the edge. Move it out again so you can see. Lined up with the edge of my paper. And I'm going to draw a straight line through my dot. And there we go. And you can see my, my line is actually a little bit below my dot. That's okay. We can erase that dot. Anyway, we don't need it. Okay, paper goes back. My paper goes back in my clipboard. Okay, and this is the center of our horizon. Okay, this is our vanishing point. We are first going to draw the sun. We have a setting sun here. Okay. It's very low on the horizon. So let's use our ruler again, actually. And let's measure out one inch. From each side from the center. OK, so an inch there. And then we come out to the two on this side. So we're an inch from our center point on either side. Then we're going to draw our sun. Okay, we're going to come up and around, and there's our sun. Okay, it's actually there we go. Okay, there's
there's our sun. So we've got a, our sun setting on our horizon. All right, we've got a good start here. The next thing we're gonna do is draw our rows of crops. Okay, and the way that we're going to do that is by finding, again, that center point. Actually, we shouldn't have erased it completely. So let's put it back a little bit. And again, I'm gonna take my paper out and I'm gonna draw lines out to the edge of my paper from my center point or my vanishing point. And we have one row of crops there. And this one I'm going to make a little bit larger. Okay, but again, coming from, whoops, coming from my vanishing point. It's important to make sure you're lined up with that. Okay, and you see how my crops are starting, my rows of crops are starting to take shape. Okay, again, line up my ruler and draw out to the edge of my paper. Okay, and this one, I'm going to come right down on my crease, all the way down to the bottom of my paper. If I can get my ruler lined up there. All the way down. There's something sticky on my ruler, too. I'm going to have to clean that off when I'm done. All right. So I've got four on this side. One, two, three, four rows on this side of crops. And now I'm going to do four more on the other side. Okay, so actually I'm going to put my paper back in. All right, and you do not have to use a clipboard. I'm only using one because I've got grooves in my in my table. Okay, and I don't want my rows to necessarily be uniform. Okay, I want them to be close, but they don't have to be exact. That one's a little more narrow than this one, isn't it? That's okay, that makes it more interesting, I think. Okay, I can kind of see the width of my, of my rows of veggies if I move my ruler up. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. So I've got one, two, I need to do one more line to make three and four rows. There we go. There's my start. All right, I'm gonna pause here and get a picture of this to show you guys. Be right back. <laughs> 